Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So I've just come back from a holiday and in today's video, I'll take you along with me to one of a kind of Apple store located in Dubai. This is the Apple store in Dubai mall and it has one of the best advantages due to its location. And I'll show you what that is in a moment. But first, let's browse around. So from the front, it looks like any typical Apple store, huge Apple logo on the wall and huge glass doors. Leading inside to the familiar Apple product display setup on wooden tables. Let's check the products on display, starting with my favorite iPads. So the M1 iPad Air, really the best iPad money can buy right now. And if you're interested in the prices, then the base 64 gigabytes variant starts here at 249980. That is about 548 pounds. A whole 120 pounds cheaper than what Apple sells it for here in the UK. Next, the iPad mini at 2129 AED, which equates to 466 pounds. Again, it's cheaper than the 569 pounds, which Apple charges here in the UK. And the mighty iPad Pros at 3299 AED, which equates to 722 pounds, a whole 177 pounds cheaper compared to the UK price. Jesus. Prove that we pay exorbitant prices here in the UK. Then the already high priced iPad 10th gen is at 1849 AED, which is about 405 pounds, making it about 90 quid cheaper than the UK price. Here is the Apple Music Wall display, really gorgeous. And the AirPod Max are quite popular here. I've seen a few people pick this up despite it being heavy and expensive. And slew of Apple Watch bands. They are like about eight pounds cheaper here compared to UK. Then the colorful Apple iPhone cases to the other wall. Next to it is a beautiful display of AirTags. The Mac Pro and the Mac Studio display are here. Tell me in the comments if I am the only one whose trypophobia is being triggered by looking at this. Then the coolest M2 MacBook Air at 4999 AD, which is about 1095 pounds, still cheaper than the 1249 pounds, which Apple charges here in the UK. And you can also claim tax back at the airport, so you'll get it for even cheaper. Next, let's check the iPhones as well, as I know lots of people buy an iPhone and also get a holiday out of the price which they pay for these iPhones in other countries. So. The top of the line iPhone 14 Pro Max starts at 4699 AED, which is 1020 pounds, a whole 180 pounds cheaper than what it sells in the UK, and a whole 40,000 rupees cheaper than the Indian price. Wow, so you see now, you can buy the phone and get an amazing but slightly on budget Dubai holiday out of the 40,000 rupees which you save. Actually, it is a little more when you account for the tax refund as well. Insane. That's why I've seen lots of Indian YouTubers do this, buy the phone and enjoy a holiday in Dubai as well for the price which they would have paid in India. And here's the new sunshine yellow color of the standard iPhone 14. It looks really cool and vibrant. This is the iPhone Plus model and here's the normal iPhone 14 and this is in red. Wow, this red is really, really bright. Now, before we head upstairs, let me show you the uniqueness of this Apple store. The back wall of this Apple store is full glass with huge doors leading to the balcony. And from there, you get the best view of the Dubai fountain below. This Dubai fountain is the world's largest choreographed fountain. And it simply is amazing. I mean, there is every brand under the sun located in this mall, including Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Cartier, and Apple beats out all of them to get this perfect location. Wow. And it's sad that they didn't open the doors this time. And when I asked the Apple genius girl, she said that it was Ramadan time, so they had to keep it shut and they will open it after Ramadan is over. But here are videos from my last visit and look at how amazing the views are from this balcony. You get the perfect bird's eye view and you can also beat out the huge crowd downstairs. It's simply amazing and just because of this, it makes this Apple store really unique. 
This time around, we had to watch through the glass doors as they did not allow us into the balcony. Now, let's head upstairs. Again, iPhones laid out nicely. And here's a purple color iPhone 14. I've seen a few women picking up this color whilst I was in the store. Here's a nice wall display about Apple Arcade. No balcony, but you get the great views of downstairs and the fountain through this high glass walls. And then look at this, a huge screen, which is going to show you guides and demos. And the next one which is showing up here is how to use Procreate. This is totally free and you can learn a lot from these classes. Wish I could stay long enough here to attend one of these. And again, AirPods display to the other wall. Think of it, AirPods really changed the wireless earbuds altogether and introduced true wireless earbuds to all of us. No wonder why they are so popular. And personally, I love my AirPods Pro Gen 2. So that concludes my visit to the amazing Apple store at the Dubai Mall. I asked the genius lady if there are any exclusives like t-shirts or other merch sold solely in this store. She said, no, it's just the standard Apple experience. I would have totally bought a tea if they had an exclusive for this Apple store. So Apple, please do sell some exclusives, especially at iconic locations like these so we can actually keep that as memorabilia. So hope you like this video guys and got an insight on how Apple pricing works in a different country. If you have benefited from this video and took a trip to buy the iPhone and a holiday to Dubai as well, do comment down below and let me know. And while you're there guys, if you like this video, please hit that like button and please consider subscribing so I can keep making these videos for you. We have crossed 12,000 subscribers, guys, and it is quite an achievement. And I thank you all from the bottom of my heart for your continuous support. So that's all for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.